Hey, how's it going, you Grouchy Grottles? Today, we're going to be playing some games with Weezing, the updated list that I myself played and the gang played over the weekend at the special event in Origins. Uh, not a whole ton has changed with the list. A couple things. I brought the Adventure Bag back. I don't know if I kept that in my last list. I uh, added an Energy Lotto over the second Triple Acceleration Energy, just so we have more ways to find Counter Energy, but it's still nice to have the ninth Energy of the Triple Acceleration Energy, so we still have one of those in there as well. Um, and then there's a Choice Band in here. Um, added the choice band so we can hit a little bit higher numbers with the Frost Rotom and the Larvitar so we can close out games a little bit more quickly against stuff like uh, the Eevee Snorlax, Areshizard, sometimes Zorark. So yeah, there's a one-up choice band in here. Um, it is just a one-up, but we do have the Adventure Bag. I can find it as well. And we don't need it every game against those matchups anyway, so it just is the, uh, the one-up. Besides that, not a whole ton has changed. Uh, the deck did pretty well for us overall over the weekend. Two top eight spots. I got fourth place at a challenge. 32 myself at the special event. And yeah, that's about it. Let's go ahead and play some games. All right, getting into our first game here. Going first. <clears throat> no idea what we're up against. Maybe it's a grass deck. I doubt it, though. You hear Mulligan. It would have been pretty good with the basic, but it's fine. There we go. That's a little bit better. Coughing. Start ditto for the bench. We're going first. Not going to bench anything down just yet. Just going to go ahead and wait until we see what our opponent's playing and we'll choose from there. Probably going to have to go with the Let Loose. We are playing against Celebi Venusaur. I have to imagine this matchup is pretty poor. I've never played against the Celebi Venusaur with Weezing. But I can't imagine it's a very good matchup. We can foul Odor and confuse the Celebi. So I think that's, what, that's going to be our game plan. Is going to be foul Odor and then evolve into a Weezing and then go from there. So we can't get knocked off turn one, so we're just gonna go ahead and attach our active here. Um, we could go with the Let Loose here actually, which would be okay, because their hand's pretty big. But I think I'll hold off on the Let Loose until maybe a more important turn comes up, because Let Loose in them right now doesn't do anything for sure. And their deck's pretty slow and pretty consistent at like at least attaching energy every turn. So like, the strong hand right now doesn't feel that good. Might just save for when we want to draw cards instead. But yeah, I think our game plan is gonna be Foul Odor to confuse it. And then evolve to a Weezing from there and then start attacking. Um, and then kind of repeat from there. They are playing Crushing Hammers, which will be definitely very annoying. Um, they usually play Crushing Hammers. They don't always play stuff like Enhanced Hammers or like Plumerias or stuff like that. So I'm not really worried about that energy removal. But the Crushing Hammers will be pretty annoying uh, nonetheless. Um, yeah, there's that Grass energy. Like I said, pretty consistent about attaching energy every turn. Yeah, I don't think the Let Loose would have done a whole lot to disrupt them for the early turns. Um, if they build up a hand... Later in the game, that's when we might want to disrupt their hand. Another Acrobite coming down for our opponent. Um, and really, actually, just kind of what uh, kind of healing they play. Oh, what is that? I don't even know what that Pokemon does. Cherim, your Fire Pokemon, or your Grass Pokemon has no weakness. All right, so definitely not for us. Uh, definitely don't have to worry about it. No idea what they just grabbed off of that Nest Ball. Hopefully, we'll see it coming down here soon so I know what the heck they just grabbed. All right, let's go check over here. Cherub. All right, so nothing too important. Um, so like I said, yeah, we're just going to confuse them, and I think we just go ahead and do that right now. Uh, don't need to do anything else. Don't need to play anything else down. We have two Weezings for the following turns. I could have made the Ditto into a Weezing, I guess, uh, but not necessary. It's better to have them to play out to be able to uh, evolve off the Coffins after we Foul Loader, I think. So, um, I mean, if they do knock us out here, if they get through the Confusion Flip with this Pollen Hazard, we will evolve the Ditto Attached to Ditto Attack, and that'll be fine. Uh, there's a Sights here for two, getting rid of a DCE, but they already got the DCE for turn. Um, and there's them trying to flip through the confusion. All right, so that's going to be our game plan. So far, so good with that. We're just going to evolve and attack. We still have everything else we need in the hand, so we don't actually need to look for a supporter with Poke Gear, play the Lutus to draw more cards, anything like that. Just go ahead and attack with the Wheezy. I mean, a Shrine of Punishment would be nice, but it's very important for us to be able to replace the Selby Venusaur Stadiums that come down, uh, the Aether Paradises and the Life Forest. It's very important for us to bump those. So we probably go ahead and save our Shrines until we have multiple in hand. Um, Gardenia. Does it actually remove conditions? No. Just heals the AD. Fine with me. Alright, so they get through the confusion this time. And we get knocked out. And we're just gonna repeat. Send up Ditto. Attach counter energy. Attack. We can eventually try and use Frost Rotom actually to maybe like knock out the Selby Venusaur. I think that'll be part of our game plan at some point. Um, so let me discard pile real fast. Um, the Let Loose doesn't seem very good right now. I'm gonna try and get a draw supporter here. We're gonna go ahead and grab a coughing. Maybe I should have grabbed a Weezing, actually. Uh, Stretcher for three. Oh, no, I should have Stretcher. Oops. Don't mind me. Misplayed. Definitely should have Poke Gear before I Stretcher for three, because I had three Pokemon in my deck that I can't 
Find out what gear. Doesn't matter, I got the Cynthia anyways. Never punished. And so on. Bench these guys, and then Cynthia. Alright, we're gonna make this one a Weezing. We'll also put a spell tag on the active, because I don't see a reason not to. And Splattering Sludge, once again, hitting the Venusaur. Goes up to 50. And once again, though, we're just living off of the confusion flips. We need them to hit a lot of tails, and they need to try and hit a lot of heads. That's basically how this whole matchup is going to go. It's just going to be confusion flips, and whether or not this Hellebee Venusaur will actually hit us or not. Um, if they play stuff like Mixed Herbs, um, it's going to be a lot harder. Because they'll be able to, remo one, remove the confusion. Um, or if they play it on two, remove all the special conditions and fully heal it. Uh, there's also a buff padding we're going to have to get through. So that's plus 50 HP we're going to have to deal with. Um, yeah, so it's going to be quite the grind here. We'll see if we can get through it. Once again, kind of all comes down to confusion flips, unless I can come up with some other kind of game plan. We don't really have anything, though, that I think would be too useful in this matchup. There's another Sightseer from our opponent. They actually play Persian in here, or I would assume so. Um, I guess they maybe just play the non-GX Persian? I would assume this is probably for the GX Persian, though. Another energy. Let's see what they go with. Tails. So we need Confused to take 10 more damage. Sounds good. Uh, adventure back. That's pretty good. Go ahead and grab ourselves the spell tag and a choice band. Um, and I think that's... I'm not going to put either of them in play. I'm not going to do anything else. We still... Like, our hand is still fine. We can set up a wheezing if this wheezing gets knocked out. Um, Frost Rotom's ready to go with an attack. Uh, and we have the choice band to back it up. Uh, we want to get those out of the deck, though, so we have a higher chance of drawing a draw supporter off the top of the deck. Uh, may as well give ourselves that. Um, so we do that with the adventure bag. May as well get those out of the deck. I mean, our opponent doesn't aggressively play judge or anything. There's a shaman, finally. Two shamans. So that's basically two free prizes for us. Uh, there's the so this is what I was worried about is the life force. I mean, now, now we have to go like dig to try and get rid of this life force because we can't really leave this life force in play. Um, yeah, it's not we can't we can't leave that in play. Um, oh, it also removes a special condition. I actually didn't know that. So that now we definitely can't leave that in play. We definitely have to get rid of that. There's a potion as well, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and get smacked for damage. I think I might go two and two and just KO these shamans a little bit faster. Um, well, if I go one, one back into my turn, one back into their turn, two back into their turn, uh, one back into my turn. So I think I do need two on each, and they'll both knock out. I think I'm knocking out going into his turn. Well, I might be out of Weezings by then. We'll just go like this. Um, we need to stop the healing from the shamans. We can't just let them sit there for too long because then it basically negates any of the damage we do to their active Pokemon. So. Another one of these, another one of these. Um, we're gonna be behind for a while, so I don't need to worry about putting that down. And we're gonna get rid of this Larvitar and let loose this turn, because we need to see some more cards. And our opponent has, opponent has a pretty sizable hand here. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be the let loose. From here, we need to find a coughing and go back to confusing this thing. Um, after we get through these, is this off any? from one of their grass Pokemon. So that kind of stinks, because they can actually heal the Shamans. Uh, whatever, Splattering Sludge, yeah. Healing the Shamans is actually more annoying than them healing the Selby Venusaur, because we did whiff that, um, what do we whiff? We whiffed the Shrine. That was the important card to find here, to get rid of the Stadium. Um, here we go, healing up the active, and if they are, we make the, the right play for them is definitely use Life Force and heal one of these Shamans. We'll see if they actually do it though. Um, I'm fine if they heal their active. Oh, well, now the active is fully healed. They play potions as well. Yep, there's the heal on the Shaman. So now we should put all four on the Shaman, I think. Um, let's see, let's we'll take one going to our turn. Four to a lot. So I guess we put three on the Shaman. Um, and then one on the active. And then the Shaman is going to going to I could have put one less on the Shaman, actually. I could have put one less on each Shaman, actually, and put two on the active. Should have done that. Um, but yeah, we're going to knock out the Shamans. Deal with those. They can't really... They don't want to put down a third Shaman, because that then, then that means that the... Uh, Selby Venusaur, if I knock out that, then they will lose. Um, that'd be the six prizes. So they only really ever want to put down two chains. So we put three here, goes to four, five, six, seven. So we got three. Uh, yeah. And then uh, put the other one here. Could have done two less here and had those on the active. I kind of messed that up a little bit. Um, yeah, go Weezing. This is just the uh, way we're going to have to play this game. Get a prize, hopefully a shrine. Not quite, but a coffin is actually pretty good. Because uh, we do need a way to confuse this thing again. Spell tag, counter, coughing, Cynthia. Yeah, we need a way to confuse this after this turn. Um, so that'll do. There we go. There's that Shrine of Punishment I was talking about. Um, stretcher for three. Need more Weezings. 
and get them all back. Um, I'm not going to search anything out. I, well, I could put this guy down and search out the Orangaroo if he's in here. He is. That's cool. Some use out of Instruct. Um, throw the spell tag down. Hopefully he doesn't get field blower. Hopefully he doesn't field blower spell tags. We're hoping. Um, one, two. Cool. And Splattering Sludge. And now the damage is starting to rack up with the Shrine plus the Detention Gas. Get rid of that Shaman. Cool. A lot of for next turn. Awesome. Uh, they're going down to two prizes with this knockout. They could GX attack here if they wanted to. It doesn't seem worth it to me. There's that Aether Paradise I was talking about. That's why we need to keep our shrines. Um, be able to respond to these cards. Like the uh, Aether Paradise, the Life Force. Like we got rid of that last turn. Um, but yeah. Netball. Here we go. Grass Energy. So not another Selby Venusaur yet. I wonder, are they going to attach that to their active? Doesn't make any sense, does it? No. Um, yeah. Guzma. Gonna get rid of our Rangaroo. That's fine with me. It doesn't do a whole lot, um, but it's like they don't trigger a spell tag, I guess. So, and I was like potentially living off the Rangaroo from what they know. Um, so probably still the correct knockout from our opponent. Um, start with a lot of get an energy, get a DCE. I think. I think we're gonna stay behind this whole game. So leave the option of the counter energy open for the Frost Rotom. Although I don't think I'll use it. Maybe. I think, yeah, I think our best bet is to just confuse it. Yeah, with the Aether Paradise in play, us hitting for... Us hitting with the Splattering Sludge doesn't actually even do a whole lot, so it's going to be the confusion. Uh, hope for some tails here. Um, yeah, same same position where we've been in the whole game, uh, pretty much. Hope our opponent hits tails on the, on the confusion. Uh, got him back to this spot finally after dealing with the Shamans. Uh, might be a little bit too little too late. They are down to two prize cards, but if they flip, I don't know. Tails on Confusion two or three times in a row. It's possible we can get enough damage out there to uh, clean this one up. There's the first Tails. All right, that's a start. Uh, I'm going to burn through some of these cards here. Oh, nice. That's the perfect top deck. We needed a Weezing here to hit this guy. Uh, I'm going to burn this because all we want here is Shrine of Punishment. Uh, play this Nest Ball. I'm going to grab the Coco. We have plenty of Weezings to close out the game. I'm going to hold the Choice Band because I don't want it to be Field Blower. Potentially, I don't want to save it for the Frost Rotom. Uh, we just need Shrine of Punishment here. There we go. There's the Shrine. All right. This is actually looking doable, potentially. Need some more Tails to come through on the Confusion, but if that does happen, then uh, we might be able to do this. We have one Shrine left. I'm sure they have at least one Aether Paradise left. Um, and if they do ever flip out of this and are able to GX attack, they will fully heal, and then we'll have to go through all this all over again. Does it heal? I don't actually know if it heals the Special Conditions. Yep, there's another Aether Paradise. Heal all damage. It doesn't heal the Special Conditions, so he'll stay confused, so that's good to know. Uh, but yeah, there's the second Selby Venusaur. I knew it was going to make its way down eventually. Just a matter of time. And the buff padding for it as well, of course. Can't forget that extra HP. There's a Heads. Was the Evergreen GX. So now we have to get through two Selby Venusaurs. We're going to be hitting the active a little bit harder than the bench one. So I think we just push all the spell tag damage to the bench one. We do need to KO both of these. Um, man, I don't think this is doable. I don't think we're going to be able to pull this off. We'll see. We're, we're going to stick it out. Um... Have to get really lucky. Definitely need to find our shrine here. Um, but I'm feeling like this one is lost. I mean, we put, made all the correct moves, I think, up to this point. It's still important to go through. Uh, know what you're doing. Gonna get a Weezy, and then I'll, I'll Ultra Ball away this Weezy in this coffin because... Don't need them anymore. They have one prize left. Uh, and we're gonna maximize our Lily here for six. Oh, I'm really close to decking out now. Maybe I'm overdrawing here with this Lily. Just a tad. We got the shrine for sure, but now I think I'm gonna deck out before our opponent, before we can even potentially win the game. Well, hopefully it won't look too bad and they'll win the game before uh, before I deck out. Yeah, I think we got as close as we possibly could in this matchup. Um, it's definitely a pretty bad matchup. They have too much HP, too much healing, uh, too many ways to get rid of confusion. Can also they have so much HP they can actually just kind of flip through the confusion pretty consistently. Um, and yeah, there's a Guzma, so that's gonna be the last prize for our opponent here. So yeah, we do end up losing in the end, um, but yeah, that's how you play out those weird matchups like that. Um, I mean, you have to find like an alternate win condition to just doing what you normally do. And it definitely is confuse our opponent and then attack from there and hope for the best. Not quite enough here in this one, so we are going to take the loss. And I'll see if it doesn't end up a little bit better for us in the next one, though. Getting into another game here. We're in the mirror match. All right. Um, no one's favorite matchup. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and treasure away. Grab a coughing. So the mirror match is all about avoiding spell tag triggers. Well... Making sure your own spell tags get triggered. Um, and save as many turn two Weezings as possible um, on your bench. 
that won't be getting damaged as uh, you go throughout the game. All right, so decent start here. We have the turn two Weezing attack. Uh, can potentially get down two more Weezings on these Coffins, and then they won't actually be able to take damage if we get them evolved, because they won't take damage from Detention Gas, and then they won't take damage uh, from the Splattering Sludge because we didn't get Detention, they didn't get Detention Gas. They do have the Coco already set up, so we, they could just go with a Flying Flip to kind of get around our plan. They also got the turn one Spell Tag on the Active, so that also gets around our plan, so... Uh, the early game shenanigans we wanted to try and pull off just not gonna work out here and we're getting let loose on top of everything else That's fine though. Hopefully uh, we should most likely see uh, Something that's uh, will get us out of this ideally uh, And that does mean yeah, there we got a pokey gear should be good. That does mean that they have uh, Another Pokemon in play that kind of just gets knocked out eventually From collateral damage from the wheezing so kind of fine with me to have that in play gonna throw it on the shrine I don't want to put down the spell tag because then they could put all four of this spell tag damage on that coughing and then go wheezing attack and then we get knocked out by detention gas meaning we lose a spell tag so i'm actually not going to put the spell tag in play because of that we're gonna hold off on that all right we whiffed wheezing that's not good um i think it just has to be a pass then from us we could attach the counter energy at least i guess we don't lose immediately but it, that's a pretty rough whiff for sure um, we actually might want to retreat and spell tag this coughing. I think we actually want to do that. Um, because if they evolve all these to Weezings and then we don't get a spell tag to trigger on them, we're not going to be spreading damage to them, which we do want to do. So we're going to go like this, and I will put the counter energy on this ditto, because that would be what we want to attack with from here, and then pass over to our opponent. So, very unfortunate whiff there. We got the energy, we got everything else, we just didn't get a Weezing or a Mysterious Treasure to find the Weezing. So we're going to be a little bit behind here, but our opponent does have the Marshadow and the Coco in play. Uh, and they filled their bench, uh, which means they're just going to be taking... Uh, these things are just going to be getting knocked out. Every and it looks like they actually don't have a great follow-up themselves as they just want to retreat Flying Flip. So uh, both of us, not great turn twos. Uh, there's a little bit better than ours. Um, and it will continue to be because we once again whiffed Weezing. Um, and we're just gonna have to go ahead and pass back over. Well, we couldn't foul odor. Okay, we got the foul odor at the very least Man, do we even play wheezing? All right, no wheezing, no treasure once again uh, We can use the nest ball and the counter catcher next turn to uh, get around uh, Coco at the very least that's only if they hit head zone they hit the tails All right, perfect the tails on the flying flip now our hand is getting filled up with Pokemon Ooh, so we gotta play some of them down here. We're, I think we're gonna have to just fill up our board here. We have to try and maximize some draw off the Lily. Definitely want the coffin. Do not want to put the Lele in play because it's so useless. Uh, we really get no value out of it at all. Alright, still no Weezing. <laughs> we're gonna have to just... No, we just want to attack. We're just gonna pass. Alright, still no Weezing. That's fine. Hopefully find a Cynthia next turn off this Pokey Gear. Or top deck a Weezing or Mysterious Treasure. That also works. There's the heads on the flying flip from our opponent. Perfect. Just what we want to see. All right, so they got the first prize here. We can activate our counter catcher at the very least to get an extra card off Lily. Play on the those. If this thing does not find us a Cynthia, nope. All right. Worst case scenario again. Um, that's fine. I'm gonna counter catcher up this guy. I don't want to bench anything at this point. Actually, benching something else doesn't actually matter. I don't think so. Actually, we may as well get the inst extra instruct draw. We're still actually in a fine spot if we find a mysterious treasure like we did. Uh, yeah, we're actually still in a fine spot because our opponent has drawn also so poorly and currently only set up to attack with Coco. Uh, attacking with Weezing is way better for the most part. Um, sometimes Coco is a little bit better. There we go. I don't know where they were the whole game, but finally found them. Gonna find a good skateboard out of the deck, then up the deck a little bit more. Yeah, only 16 cards left in our deck and we finally found our first Weezings. Um, oh, we can evolve all of them. Cool. Um, yeah, here we go. Splattering Sludge. Punch the active for 50, everyone else. Oh, I guess I get to punch that Coco as well. Set up everything else to start taking spread damage. Um, yeah, so now we're in a pretty decent spot. Um, our opponent is a little bit ahead of us on the spread, but that's only with the Coco. They actually can't attack with Weezing this turn, which is a super notable thing to take note of because they have a counter energy on it. Unless they play, unless they have like a combination of like switch plus another DCE. Um, yeah, they only have the counter energy on it and they're ahead. So they actually can't probably attack with Weezing this turn, so they'll have to attack with Coco, which is a pretty big difference in damage output being able to be being attacking with a wheezing or the coco so if they attack with coco i'm pretty sure we'll catch up on the damage output by next turn so we'll be ahead um with the way things are looking um, I, oh they play a field blower great and they hit it awesome 
Maybe not moving the Marshadow though. Um, if that's the case, we're actually not going to attack. We're going to let the Detention Gas knock out the Marshadow. Yep, it is just a pass. Um, I don't think I... Maybe I, I'm okay with activating the spell tag, actually. We have to put four somewhere. Do I really care if they get to put four in play? Maybe not. Throw this down. We're going to set up like, everything to be able to move. We're pretty much... Ooh, yeah, we're going to pretty much deck ourselves out here. And draw two off the Orangaroo. We're going to get close. I mean, I mean, it's not that close. I guess there's still like, like eight cards left in the deck, but that's actually not that many cards left. Um, the rest of our deck is just like energy, right? Yeah, pretty much. All right. Um, we could sludge, but then we activate the spell tag, so we could just not sludge. But then there's that, there's that much less damage in play. We get to put four in play on us if they get the spell tag trigger. I think we just go with the splattering sludge here. Let them get the spell tag trigger. I don't want to give them the spell tag trigger, but I think the amount of damage we do is more relevant than them giving the spell tag uh, damage off. So this seems right to me. Go ahead and knock that out. Yeah, the field blower is super uh, annoying. That's uh, pretty good there. Uh, we are drawing two prizes, so the uh, counter energy on our opponent's Weezing is active. Let's see what we get here. Another Weezing, not terrible. And Frost Rotom, it's okay. Nothing spectacular. Alright, so they're gonna knock us out. They're gonna set up this Weezing to be knocked out. So what's gonna happen here is we're not gonna knock out this Weezing because we don't do quite enough damage. We'll be short by 10. Uh, so we won't trigger this spell tag. Then we'll send up this Weezing that will get knocked out by another Weezing, which will trigger this Weezing's spell tag, which means we can then um, knock out this Weezing with a spell tag damage tick from this spell tag, meaning their spell tag won't trigger. So that's kind of how the whole mirror match works. So you just wanna use your spell tags to knock out their stuff with spell tags and make it so they don't get the extra damage from spell tags. Uh, either knock it out with the spell tag or the det detention gas, but usually it has to be a spell tag that knocks it out. Um, so yeah, that's our game plan. We also need an energy. We won't have an energy, but we have two DCE and a triple acceleration left, and we have the Pokey Yarn here. Oh, we have one DCE left. Ooh, maybe, maybe I should have attached here instead of on the Oranguru. I'm not really sure why I put that on the Oranguru, actually. Usually you want to set up the pip with the Oranguru, but when we're ahead like this, all right, we got the triple acceleration energy, so don't have to overthink it. Just going to do it next turn. Put the triple and attack with that guy. Uh, I think it was definitely a mistake on uh, my part, though. Should have put the DCE, just put it here. Um, yeah, so we set up this guy because he has a spell tag. Hoping our opponent doesn't play two field blower, which would be only a little bit ridiculous in Weezing. Uh, we get another prize here off this Coco. This guy's set up to attack. We can also just attack with the Orangaro if we want to, which we might just end up doing. But there's our last DC, so that's a really good pull off the prizes there. Um, so this guy's going to get knocked out almost for sure, and if it doesn't, then we just attack with it again. I think we definitely throw out the triple here. Um, I think I do want a Nest Ball for the coughing as well. Our hand is a little bit locked because of all the energy we just drew, but I don't think that's going to be a huge deal. Splattering Sludge. Going to get one prize here, I believe. Yeah, so now we're down to two prizes. So actually attacking with a Rangaroo looks pretty reasonable coming up here. Um, if, unless they can get over our Spell Tag, which I don't think they're going to be able to do. So I think we are going to be walking away with the win here. Um, both had pretty slow starts. Our opponent got the first attack, um, but didn't quite matter in the end. Uh, just, yes, despite getting that attack with Coco, which was a really good attack for the time and position we were in, they didn't have any follow-up after the Coco. So we were able to kind of uh, get ahead on the spread damage, too much for them to handle, and we should be able to close this one out here this turn. Um, maybe they have some shenanigans with the Lele? There's an escape rope, so possibly. Um, I think I just go ahead and send up this wheezing anyways yeah let's go ahead and send up the other wheezing let's see what our opponent has in store it looks like it's just attack with wheezing themselves so yeah not going to be enough for my opponent i don't think once i got more damage to play than i think nope a rangaroo gets knocked out but we send up this guy the coughing and the marshadow take damage um actually we will be triggering that spell tag actually i think we're going to a sudden death here let me see Knock out, knock out, knock out. I'm gonna knock out three things. They have two prizes left, and they are gonna knock out my Coco and my Lele. So I think we actually are going to Sudden Death. If I pass, they'll win. All right, we're going to Sudden Death. Interesting. I don't think I have a way out of this. Let me check my deck real fast. Yeah, because they dodged my spell tag, which is very unfortunate. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, but I don't think we have a way out of this. The detention gas will simply stick. We could let loose into Guzma. Do I still have my Guzma left? Nope, Guzma's gone. Attach. I'm gonna go ahead and let loose anyways. Just see. But I don't think there's a way out of this for to avoid the sudden death. So I'm gonna go ahead and Cynthia as well. We got this guy at least. That's kinda cool. Doesn't do enough though. 
six. Yeah, I think it is sudden death. All right, I'm gonna take three prizes here, maybe four. Actually, did we take five? No, we took four prizes here, but we only have two left, so we only get two out of it. Our opponent's spell tag will trigger off the bench. They'll knock out our Lele and our Coco, and we will be going to sudden death here in this one. Uh, usually, the sudden death in the Weezing Mirror matches uh, are pretty much decided by who goes first. Um, there are a couple little things you can do, like if you go second by pushing a Coco or a Rangaroo to give yourself a little time. Um, well, yeah, we'll see. Hopefully going first. Uh, it's a big deal. All right, we lost the coin flip, so we're going to need to get a little lucky here now. Um, or our opponent to get a little unlucky. I guess both of those work. Um, so the Frost Rotom start is actually not too bad. We also have the Adventure Bag, so we can get the uh, Skateboard immediately for it. Um, so as far as uh, ways to avoid... I mean, we just don't want to open... We, you don't want to open Coffin or Ditto, basically. Um, going second. You want to open pretty much anything but those. Opening the Lele isn't great uh, either. Uh, but thankfully, we didn't open that. We opened the Frost Rotom. So Frost Rotom's cool. Coco's the ideal starter when uh, going second there. We just skateboarding their coffin, skateboarding their coffin into the active. We could also look for a Coco spread turn one ourselves, actually, with our current hand. That would be pretty good. They're going extremely aggressive, though, with the Let Loose as well. Our hand was pretty good, so I definitely would have liked to have seen and used this hand. Uh, so unfortunate that our opponent does have the Let Loose and decides to use it, but looks like they maybe had to. That is a pretty good draw off of the Let Loose, though. Coco, energy to retreat. Trying to punch Lily for eight currently, and then follow up Cynthia. And they didn't play a supporter at all, so uh, I'm not feeling too bad about this one. No coughing, though. All right. Um, so we don't have any attack for turn two at all, and we have a Frost Rotom in our active. This is awful. Um, I don't think we want Frost Rotom to get hit, so I think we are going to hard retreat to the Coco. I'm not going to bet you Ranger to take three damage and pass over to our opponent. So. Very unfortunate with there of a coughing, uh, you know, two Ultra Ball, four Nest Ball, four Treasure, four coughing, and a Ditto in the deck. Um, so that's not good. And there's the turn two Weezing. So this one's just about over. I think we had our our current play here is to go with the Foul Odor to confuse the Weezing, and then kind of hope they don't have Guzma or Escape Rope. They already went through one Escape Rope. I didn't see their Guzma in the last game, so we'll see here. Um, Throw down rank. We could fly and flip. No, we lose if we fly and flip. Let me go ahead and burn this. And sure. So we need energy and uh, energy and coughing here. I think is our only out. We have to foul odor this wheezing, but they have an energy set up on the bench wheezing, and currently with energy. All right. Nest ball, coughing. Um. And choice bandit can play the pokey gear. Well, I was going to say fail it, but it failed for us. Ultra Ball. Let Loose is in here, so I think I do grab the Let Loose at the very least. And we'll instruct for two first, see what it gets us. Now, if it gets us an energy, we won't Let Loose yet. Did not get us an energy. Mm, I shouldn't have put the Choice Man here. I should have put the Choice Man up here. Alright, throw this up there. Uh, stretch for three, because we do want to find a Weezy next turn. And if anything gets knocked out, if we need to get anything else back to Stretcher, we've already lost anyway, so... I don't know why I put the choice in there. I should definitely should save that spot for a spell tag. Put the choice in the active. All right, we got the DCE. Uh, so we got the foul loader. I'm gonna go ahead and adventure bag. Get uh, everything out of our deck. Got to increase our chances of top making a wheezy next turn. I'll have to just hope that if they have an energy, we just lose anyway. So uh, yeah, here we go. Foul loader. Confuse the wheezy. They have to not have an energy. A switch card. Uh, also, just get tails if they choose to attack, which is probably just correct to choose to attack if they do whiff all that, because I can't even knock them out next turn myself. Um, the only thing I can do is like set up for a second sudden death through triggering their spell tag in two turns. Um, second spell tag. We'll see. Oh yeah, all they need is an energy. Hard retreat the Weezing. Attack with this Weezing. Game's over. Um, there's the second energy. Let's see if they picked up on it. Pretty straightforward play here. Retreat to the bench Weezing. And okay. All right, so we end up losing the sudden death in the Weezing Mirror match. Had a pretty close initial game. Um, mirror match, uh, sudden death, not so close. It's kind of just whoever goes first. As you guys can see, we're at an extreme disadvantage there uh, once we went second. Um, did what we could. Got the ideal starter, but then the no wheezy or the no coughing into. Uh, we put in a choice man on the coffin. I don't know why I did that. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video on wheezing, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. This is the list that I said that I used at the Origin Special event. Um, top 32 placement, um, but the other guys in the group did get they had two spots in top 8, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's going to do it with the reason, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, 
Uh, be sure to give the video a like if you're enjoying the content. Be sure to subscribe. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Uh, check out the description for links to my live stream as well as social medias. All that fun stuff. Have a good day. Thanks for watching and peace.